We're looking to binge no buts about it content. Tonight's the night to do it. Sheldon Rankins has now officially agreed to a two-year deal with the Cincinnati Bengals. We're going to talk about it. Hey everyone, I'm Josh Butts of No Butts About It, and if you just came from the Mike Kosecki video, thank you. I mentioned that the Bengals were making moves while I was filming that, and that move that was being rumored was former Houston Texans defensive tackle. Sheldon Rankins is now a Cincinnati Bengal. This is a big move for Cincinnati and something they have needed for a long time. According to Jeremy Fowler, very credible source, the official deal is two years, $26 million, which is actually kind of a great deal for a defensive tackle in this market. It's a little less than what DJ Reader is projected to give you an idea of where he stands. However, this signing should not be compared to DJ Reader. Uh, a lot of people are going to see defensive tackle and freak out. They're going to say, "Is does this mean now automatically Bengals aren't in on DJ Reader? Obviously, there is that rumor that DJ Reader is supposed to get on a plane tomorrow and go up to Detroit to talk with them. And a lot of people are thinking uh, if he goes to Detroit, if the talks are good, then he's going to sign with them. That is a possibility. I'm not saying that's not impossible. I think that's actually very likely. But this guy, Rankins, is a completely different type of defensive tackle than DJ Reader. This is not a DJ Reader replacement. Rankins is more of a three-tech defensive tackle, meaning he is going to be your pass rusher. He's going to provide that explosiveness. If you want to look for someone to compare uh, Rankins to in the NFL, or even if you're just looking for a past Bengals defensive tackle to compare him to, Larry Ogunjobi would be a much better comparison, in my opinion, than DJ Reader would. Another an example of a three tech uh, defensive tackle, the best three tech defensive tackle in NFL history, is Aaron Donald. Just a guy who is, he's just going to blitz up the middle. He's coming after the quarterback and he is going to put him into the ground. Sheldon Rankins is on the older side, and that is why a lot of people counted him out. Bengals fans thought, hey, the Bengals don't sign people over the age of 30. Uh, this isn't going to happen. Rankins is 30 years old. They signed him to a two-year contract. This is kind of a sign of the new Bengals. They're, they're making some moves. They only had B.J. Hill on contract, so uh, they needed to get that defensive line room figured out especially if they lose dj reader in free agency uh if you maybe haven't heard of sheldon rankins not a huge name he's been in the league since 2016 uh when he was drafted by the saints he did have his biggest game this season against the cincinnati Bengals when houston took them on in week 10 pff graded him a 93.8 in that game and his pass rush was a 93.1 he just had a great game he had three sacks in that game alone that was over half his sacks on the season um and the Bengals offensive line just didn't have an answer for him and if you are like hey the bang it's the Bengals offensive line right that's what we've been talking about the last four years right when will the Bengals offensive line get figured out well he also his second best game when he had an 88.4 grade uh, and he had some hurries. He had five hurries in that game. He didn't have any sacks, but uh, his pressure was definitely felt on uh, the quarterback. That would have been Joe Flacco that week when they played in week 16. Uh, he he was felt. Joe Flacco was aware that Sheldon Rankins was in the building. Um, I think this is a great signing. I think this is a relatively cheap signing as well. Uh, Sheldon Rankins is going to provide a ton of of pass rush to this Bengals defensive unit that just hasn't had it the past few years. We, we've we had Trey Hendrickson. Uh, Sam Hubbard was playing injured last season, and so that helped make it uh, – or hindered, excuse me, hindered that pass rush. And uh, 
now we've got a guy who can come in, help out Trey Hendrickson, help out Sam Hubbard, and I'm hoping the Bengals either retain DJ Reader or they go into the draft and they draft someone who is a nose tackle, who they're just going to sit up there and they're going to stop the run because we got to stop that run defense. Sheldon Rankins will help with that a little bit, but his primary reason for his signing is is that he is going to provide pass rush. We are not expecting much of a run defense out of Sheldon Rankins, in my opinion. Um, He actually has a terrible run defense, but he has a phenomenal pass rush. Let's uh, compare those. PFF has him graded at a 38.2 run defense. Obviously not great, but his pass rush is 76.7. Furthermore, this was not an easy like just signing this isn't like the Bengals went to the bargain bin and just got someone that a team didn't want the Houston Texans were actively trying to retain Sheldon Rankins which means he wants to be in Cincinnati he wants to come to the Cincinnati Bengals and he wants to win those football games and I love guys like that I love guys who want to come in maybe they're not the biggest name DJ Reader wasn't the biggest name when we signed him Trey Hendrickson wasn't a huge name when we got signed. And now, look, they're some of the biggest names in Cincinnati. So Sheldon Rankins can come in and quickly, quickly become a defensive icon in this because that pass rush from the defensive tackle spot just simply hasn't there been there. Like I said, DJ Reader is a great defensive tackle, but his job simply isn't to be that pass rush. He can provide pressure. But he, he's not going to be your primary pass rushing defensive tackle. I think that this is going to unlock another uh, big level that the Bengals haven't had in a long time. And I'm, I'm really excited about it. And I'm also really excited because this is a decent class for defensive tackles. And now they don't have to draft two defensive tackles. They can draft one. I would not be shocked if the Bengals use that second-round pick on Devondre Sweat. Um, I don't know if he'll fall to the third, but Devondre Sweat would definitely fit that guy. And I've said this. I just want to stick in there and just dare the quarterback or dare the running back to run up the middle. I dare them to. I dare Jalen Hurts to try the tush push against Devondre Sweat. That's what I want the Bengals to be doing with him. And – That's what Tavondre Sweat is meant to be. So we're working here. We're getting guys who are compatible now. We're getting guys who can work together. We're not trying to force people to do what they aren't meant to do. Dax Hill wasn't meant to be a safety, wasn't a great safety. I'm going to put him back at corner. Let's see, judge him there. I like that the Bengals are making this move. I'm excited about this move. Let me know what you think about this move down in the comments. What other moves do you want to see the Cincinnati Bengals do and uh, go do something nice for someone?